So I've been trying to figure out a way to create scribble animations in DaVinci Resolve and for some reason this was proving to be quite difficult. But now that I have figured out the way which I'm going to share with you, it was a very simple process and let me just show you how to achieve that. So right now I just have this footage. You can just go ahead select any footage or you can even use a fusion composition to do this. So let me just play this uh preview and here you can see the scribble animation comes in and goes out and it's also wiggling that kind of scribble effect uh yeah this is how it appears and i'll show you how to do that so you can just drag in your footage or even you can even use fusion composition for this but i'm just going to use a footage for this and highlight this person walking so let's select the footage and head over to the fusion composition and here you can see we have uh, the footage and the media out so the first thing that we need to do is drag a background and i'm going to select white color for this and of course you can select any color that's up to you but i'm going to just use white as the default and drag in this polygon so for this, I usually just right click over here and select remove polygon just so that I know that there are no keyframes already. And uh, that's up to you if you want to do this, but that's uh, something that I uh, do before using the polygon. So connect your polygon with the background and the background with the media in. And select your polygon and now create a shape around this so i'm going to just create this circle kind of shape which is just random you don't need to make it accurate it is just random so here you can see we have the shape and now what you can do is make sure that you have your polygon one selected and go over to border width set this to 0 0.003 and here you can see this is how it looks and i'm going to set the border style to flat and uncheck the solid as well just to avoid any problems later on all right so now what you need to do is make sure that you have your background selected and press Control space and search for displays and once you have displays just drag in this fast noise from here and connect this fast noise to the displays node and once you are in the fast noise and let me just zoom in over here so you can see what's going on here you can see we have a smooth line but by using fast noise you can create that textured kind of effect for your line so let me just show you so set the detail to 10 the contrast to 5 and you can already see some changes over here and also change the scale if you want to so that you can get a more rough kind of edge for your line but I'm just going to keep this at 2 somewhere around 2 but that's up to you I think at 2 it works for me so once you have that done you can also select the C rate and set this to 1 as well so if we play this now Here you can see we are getting that scribble animation. So this is how simple it was to create a scribble animation in DaVinci Resolve. And just so that we can add some more detail to it, let's just add a glow. So while you have your displays one selected, just search for saw glow. And go over to soft glow and then just change the gain a little bit let's just decrease this uh, the glow size at 10 works for me but you can of course go ahead and experiment you can increase the gain decrease the gain that's up to you so now it looks kind of interesting it has a little depth in it so around 1.85 let's say it works for me and now I'm just going to create the animation. So let's say add 40 
I'm going to go over to the polygon one and here I'm going to set a keyframe at length and at zero I'm going to change this to zero as well so let's play this and here you can see this is how it looks you can go over to spline and ease them in so let's select these and press s on the keyboard and let me just select this keyframe at the end and then just slightly move this and if we play this you will see that you you will get a nice looking effect so here we have this so let's also just move this out at let's say 140 so you can select your select a keyframe or create a keyframe at position over here wherever you want to end and let's just go over to 180 and set the position to 1 and here it will just go out and once again you can go over to spline and let's select the position hit s and then once again just a slight curve at the end and let's just play and see how this looks so it looks interesting and of course you can also do motion tracking so that it follows the person but for me it works just fine for now and that's not the purpose of this video you can watch the video if you want to i will leave a link over here somewhere and uh yeah this is how you can create scribble animations and just one more thing i want to show you regarding this is that let's say you want to create or add another scribble animation in the same footage and you might be thinking okay i can just use this and use this or add a new polygon and just select it and attach it to the other polygon and create the shape like this and uh, let's just set this to 0 0.03 again and uh, here you will see that the problem that you will face is that this line that we just created you will see the difference that it is more rough than the polygon one that we already had and there is no way to change this i don't know a way to change this as of now but if you have a way to you know set this you can go ahead and use this or even if you want to have this kind of effect it's okay but for me this looks like very different and i don't need that because here you can see one other difference that is here the animation is quite normal according to how we want it to wanted it to be but here it is more more wiggly than what we want so this is the reason why i would not recommend using another polygon tool in the same nodes so what you can do is create a different node nodes altogether with right? the background displacement fast noise and use that so let me just quickly show you how you can do that so once again uh, let's just change the color for now to yellow and add a polygon displays all the same things that we just did even soft glow let me just add that as well and fast noise then i'm just going to right now just copy this fast noise and then paste it over here paste settings basically and this will add all the settings that we did for the first fast noise over here and let's just connect this soft glow to the merge and it will generate a new merge and let's go over to this polygon and create this line like this and now let's set this to 0 0.03 and now we can adjust our fast noise so let me just decrease the scale and here you will see now we are getting it a little bit more uh, appropriate looking kind of wrinkle and we can also decrease the seed rate so let's just decrease the seed rate a little bit and we can also animate this so let's just say that over here at 60 or 80 let's just go over to 80 at polygon 2 i'm going to create a keyframe at or let's just go over to 100 create a keyframe at length and then at 80 
just change this to zero. This will move in. At 120, let's create a keyframe at position. And at 140, let's just move this out. And of course, you will want to select this flat option so that there is no dots over here. So let's just play this. So here we have our first original one and then we have this uh, second element. This is how you can do simple wiggle animations, scribble animations in DaVinci Resolve. But one other thing that I want to show you is the pre-made elements or any element that you found on the internet. For example, I have this arrow over here and uh, let's just connect this to the media merge tool. And this arrow, you can use any element. So once you have uh, added and connected it with the merge, just go ahead and add this transform node, connect it, and let me just move this right here. So once you have the transform selected, go over here to the angle, right click, select modify width, and then shake. And then go over to modifiers, set the smooth depth to one, and the maximum at 10. So if we play this now, here you will see you also get this wiggle effect on the arrow as well and now you can adjust this by using the merge 3 to adjust it wherever you want this to be you can also rotate it now but you can't use the rotation over here because this is uh, using the modifier and one other thing is that you can add another transform node and then use that to change the position let's just put this over here somewhere and of course, you can also do a masking. So something like this. Let's just increase the size. And, and let's go over at 280. Set a keyframe at the center. And then at 240, let's just move this out. So here you will see that we also are able to animate this. And of course, this is a bit slow. So let's just go over to spline and then from here you can just move this over to this side so this will increase the speed like this and now that we have this done let's just go over to the timeline and you will see all your elements the scribble elements working just fine so this was it for this video i hope this was helpful and i'll see you in the next one.